This is the Akai MPK Mini Play Mark III. It's a MIDI controller that has very special features, onboard sounds, and a built-in speaker. Combine that with some nice features you find in the original MPK Mini, and you've got a unique little keyboard that might just be what you've been looking for, but it's not without its own flaws. And today, I'll go through the pros and cons and help you decide if the Akai MPK Mini Play Mark III is right for you. Spoiler alert, this keyboard really surprised me in a good way. I'll put links to the best prices for this keyboard in the video description below. Let's talk about the two most unique features first, the speaker and the onboard sounds. That intro music you just heard, I made the whole thing drums, instruments, effects, even the reverse cymbal, everything with the sounds included inside the Akai MPK Mini Play. This is the first thing that surprised me. Many of the sounds are good enough to spark some inspiration and definitely good enough for practicing on the go if that's what you'd like to do. These are general MIDI sounds, so keep your expectations in check. In fact, they bring back memories of early Casio keyboards, complete with computery sounding pianos, electric pianos, synthy strings, and even that old gunshot noise. Using the built-in effects made it fun. Here I've loaded up the string ensemble sound, adjusted the attack, applied the filter, added some reverb, and voila! There are over 100 sounds included and you can save your presets for quick access as well. And I'll say this, adding the effects really helps them out. The built-in drum sounds are also decent. And it's great that they're always ready to go on the pads. And you can play a different instrument on the keys at the same time. Hey, do you already have a portable keyboard with built-in sounds that you'd recommend? Leave a comment below to share your gear with others here. One of my favorite things about the onboard sounds is navigating to them. The wheel here has a nice clicky feel and it's super fast to zoom through the included sounds and find one that you like. You can also assign your favorite sounds to the pads. The onboard sounds really make this fun for on-the-go practice and jotting ideas. I say fun because there is no built-in sequencer or any way to record your ideas. It's just for playing, thus the name play. Let's talk about the second unique feature next the speaker. I'll say this, it's okay. If you think this will be remotely close to your studio monitor sound, you'll be mistaken. Listen. I know hearing it through the mic isn't going to really give you a good sense of the sound quality, but it's the best I can do. The Mark III does have a larger speaker than the previous model, but come on, Look at the size. It's about the size of my watch face. So again, keep your expectations in check. Now, once you put on headphones, things change considerably. Much, much better. I think the volume is loud enough to enjoy playing on a train or a plane, and the onboard effects come through even more with headphones. In this video, you've been listening to sounds outputted from the headphone jack to my audio interface and recorded into my DAW, so you'll get a good sense of the actual quality. Let's get into key feel, the pads, knobs, buttons, and some other useful features. The keys are mini, of course, but they are velocity sensitive. These are the same keys as the Kai put on the MPK Mini. 
By the way, I want to clarify that the MPK Mini Play is not a replacement for the original MPK Mini without onboard sounds. It lives side by side with it. And this one is more expensive. You're gonna pay $30 more for the onboard sounds. The keys are typical for keyboards this size, but of course there are better keys on mini keyboards as well, like those on the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II. You get your standard issue Akai pitch and mod joystick, which I don't love. I prefer wheels or touch strips. The pads are MPC pads, and these are some of the best pads on a mini keyboard. Definitely a winning feature of the Akai MPK keyboards. They have a comfortable stiffness, good sensitivity, and feel just right for finger drumming. I should mention that these pads are a bit smaller on the play. They're rectangular compared to the square pads on the original MPK, but that didn't affect playability at all for me. All right, there's a lot more on the MPK Mini Play Mark III. It's time to explore the knobs, the buttons, the note repeat, all which are excellent features to have on the go. But before we do, if you're recording music at home or on the go, you should consider releasing it to the world. It's pretty easy to get your music out there with DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. DistroKid is a service that helps you put your music on Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, Instagram, iHeartRadio, pretty much everywhere people listen. And they collect earnings for you when people play or purchase your music. I think people highly underestimate how easy it is to get your music out there these days. Now, just because you post a song doesn't mean you're going to rack up millions of plays. So DistroKid gives you tools to help you get the word out. I like their hyperfollow feature most. It gives you a quick link that you can post anywhere you want to share the word on your new release. And people can use that link to quickly follow you. I've actually made two videos on DistroKid all about the earnings and how it works and how you upload your music. And I answer the most popular questions too. You can watch those videos here. And if you're ready to sign up, there's a link in the video description that'll give you a discount to your first year of DistroKid membership. Okay, back to the MPK Play. I already showed you that you can control the onboard effects with the four knobs at the top right here. These are not endless encoders, and that does get in the way of applying effects sometimes because you have to search for the last point where these knobs were. For those of you that have keyboards with knobs, you know the deal. Above the octave buttons, you've got arpeggiator controls and tempo. Turn it on and you've got your built-in arpeggiator, which is really nice. You can adjust the rate, type of arp, and swing with the keys as well. The note repeat button is great for those drums. Now let's check out the form factor. The MPK Play is the same size as the original MPK Mini Mark III. At a glance, it's hard to tell these apart. The build quality is on par with a lot of other mini keyboards. The knobs do feel sturdy and everything feels pretty tight. On the right side above the speaker, you've got your volume control, which controls the volume of your headphones and the built-in speaker. On the back, you've got your connections for USB, headphones, and your sustain pedal. You've also got a switch to change power from USB to battery. Yep, this runs on batteries, four double A's, and gives you around 14 hours of playtime. Okay, I'm gonna to touch on DAW control next if you want to use this keyboard with your computer. The MPK Mini comes with some software to get you started with recording music on your computer, and also includes the Melodics Educational Package, which I've never tried. The MPK Mini Play has pretty much the same DAW control as the original MPK Mini. There are DAW settings for GarageBand, MPC Beats, Ableton Live, Logic, and FL Studio. Now, without transport controls for play, stop, and record, there's a limitation to what you can control with your DAW. You only get four knobs with the MPK Play instead of eight on the original MPK. But I didn't really miss the other four that much. In Ableton, I was able to use the four knobs to control devices just fine. Now, even the original MPK Mini doesn't really offer the most DAW control, and other MIDI keyboards definitely offer a lot more in that area. I'll add my link to my comparison of the best MIDI keyboards for DAW control in the video description below. So who do I think the MPK Mini Play is for? Well, if you're someone who likes the ease of playing music on the go without always connecting your mini keyboard to a computer, you'll enjoy this. Now, I don't see people 
gigging with this keyboard. If you're not expecting modern, inspiring sounds, you'll be fine. This is also a great option if you want to practice on the go as well. If you're new to playing keys, you'll appreciate having this with you. Just turn it on and play. I'll end by saying this. I mainly produce music at home here in my studio and not so much on the go. So this is not a keyboard I'd get a lot of mileage from. That said, what isn't right for me might be just right for you. If the Akai MPK Mini Play Mark III looks like something you would enjoy, you'll find links to the best prices in the video description below. And hey, if you're new to music production, don't miss my Saturday news reports where I feature the latest from the music gear world, free plugins and discounts every week. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you soon.